What's up guys, the Mexican Nerd here and today I'm giving you an update vid on my MacBook Pro 13 inch. I made the review video like a week ago and a couple days after I made my review video I opened up the lid on my MacBook and for the very first time I noticed a little tiny white dot on the corner of the screen. So after I saw the dust I got my cleaning rag that the MacBook came with and I was trying to clean it off. I even got a little bit of water to clean it off and it would just not come off. So I got a magnifying glass that I had in my room. And I got really close to it and I saw that it was two pieces of dust. Not, it's not two pieces of dust. It was like two little tiny white dots on the screen. And one piece of dust that was underneath the glass. And uh, I started freaking out after that. I put it up on Twitter that I didn't know what was up with that. I went on Google and I tried to find some forums to see what people were talking about about that. And a few people said that they had that same problem that I had. Where they see a little piece of dust under the screen. And that they went to Apple and the Apple told them that it was just a cosmetic issue and that they couldn't help them. So I really started freaking out and I just like kind of gave up on trying to fix it. And then uh, Rick El Chilango from Twitter uh, hit me up and told me that he had an iPhone and it had dust under the screen. And he took it to Apple and that they fixed it right away. They just exchanged it and gave him a brand new one. So right after he told me that I went on uh, the Apple app that's on the iPhone and I made a reservation at at the Apple store nearby and right after that I put it back in its original box wrapped it up and everything put all the cables and cords back in the box and uh, I just went to sleep and then the next day I woke up drove down to the Apple store with Valerie and went straight to the Genius Bar showed him the MacBook and I told him that it was two little, pe two little white dots and a little white dot underneath the glass and he looked at it and he said oh man that's terrible let me go in the back room and get you a brand new one and I was like alright and then he went to the back brought out a new MacBook and he told me uh, or he asked me if I had all my data backed up on here and I told him no so he said alright it's gonna take a few hours to transfer everything and I said alright and uh, I went home and they called me up a few hours later to come back to the Apple store to pick it up so I did and um, I picked it up and then I went home and I should have checked it at the Apple store to see if it was it was alright but I had my nephew with me and he was like crying and running around the store so I just, I just left and a few hours later I opened up the box and the first thing I noticed was that on the top here, on the top of the Apple logo, there was a bunch of brown stains just all over the top. Like if somebody just spilled coffee over the top of the, of the MacBook. And as soon as I saw that, I got my rag again and I started cleaning it and it would not come off. I got some water again, tried to clean it, it would not come off. So then after I saw that, I looked for more flaws and on the front of the lid here, let me focus up, there was a big scratch that went across the... Just, just the front of this lid, there was just a big scratch that went across there. So I got really pissed right there again. And I wrapped up my MacBook, didn't even turn it on or anything. I wrapped it up. Um, called my friend up to go with me to the Apple Store. So give him a little intimidation, I guess. And I went back to the Apple Store. I was so pissed the whole drive over there. It takes me like 10 minutes to get there. Or 15 minutes. And I was really mad. I was like seriously ready to beat the crap out of an Apple employee. But... Um, as soon as I got there, we got met a guy named Bill, the, one of the Apple employees, and he told uh, he was really nice, and he told us to show him the MacBook, and I opened it up, and I started explaining all the problems. The first thing I explained was the lid and the stains, and as soon as I told him that there were some stains there, he said, "Oh man, don't tell me anymore. I'm gonna go and get you a new MacBook. That's terrible. I hate that you had to experience that problem and all this stuff." So I was immediately happy right there because he was going to give me a brand new one and this time he told me that I could inspect it before they transferred all the data over so that was pretty cool. So I inspected it, it took me like 10 minutes, probably less. Just to, I looked at every single piece of the MacBook, the lid, the screen, the everything, the bottom of it and it was perfect. They told me to come back the next day when they called me up and that's what I did. Came back the next day, got the new MacBook, went to the car, checked it. It was perfect and now I have this brand new MacBook Pro. So the whole point of the story is that if you're thinking about getting the MacBook and you live near an Apple store or something like that, they will definitely help you out if you have any kind of problem. I mean I just had a little tiny piece of dust under the screen and he immediately replaced it. And then I, I got a new one and it had some stains and a scratch and he immediately replaced it. And he made sure I inspected it to make sure I liked it. and. Um, as soon as I opened up the brand, this is the third computer that I had. I opened it up, turned it on, and it was like it never happened. All my data was there, everything. Apple Store customer service is great. I have heard some bad things about Best Buy that they totally don't help you out. I don't know about the Apple online service, but the Apple Store definitely helped me out, and I would recommend you guys 
pick up a MacBook if you live, live near a Apple store and you'll be taken care of no matter what happens so that was just a quick little story hope it wasn't too long and boring I just wanted to tell you guys that Apple service was great and I am very happy with my new MacBook Pro so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and try to shoot a review of this in case hard showcase that I have for this and I bought this new let me show you guys magic charger for my magic mouse it's like a wireless charger it's pretty cool and make sure you guys like the video comment if you have any questions just leave it in the comments and make sure that you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll see you guys later